Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the User of Bricks channel. Today, uh, we will be uh, creating uh, two types of elements. The Achievements element and a Creative tab. So, let's get into it. We will start off with the Advancements. That is at the beginning of the uh, drop-down menu for the elements, which you get by clicking on the green icon. And you can click either H or just click the achievement. And then you enter your the name of your achievement, Handel Book, Book, you can uh, you can definitely tell what I'm what this is going to be, <laughs> but we need an icon, which means you have to create an item before you can uh, do this, or you can just use the vanilla items. Uh, next is your achievement name, which and oh, book. Book, description, there's only one T needed in that, yeah, you can also have it a task, goal, challenge, just leave it at it as a task, you can have a parent root, so let's just put it in the story root, okay, but anyway, you can put it in like the nether root, or the end root, or the adventure root, or the husbandry root. Yeah, you can also create your own root. But yeah, I believe actually I believe you can change create your own your own root. Not sure. Hmm. Anyway, achievement trigger. This is what triggers your achievement and we will be going over how to do that this is a very simple procedure very simple only requires one little thing and then there's uh, you can choose uh, a map location but that this isn't necessary and I don't know why you'd want to use that Okay, and that's the element itself. That's it. Next, to actually implement this, you'd have to go into the item, go to the procedures page, and however you want to get it, I'm gonna have it so that it's when it's right-clicked in air, you go to player management, and you add an achievement. You can click your personal achievement, handle book, in my case. Add procedure, next, and there you are. You have your ad advancement, achievement, I mean. Yeah, these are super, super simple. Uh, as I said, the achievements are simple. It's very simple. That's why in this episode we are ca covering two things. Achievements and then a creative tab, which is another very simple thing. So let's cre create that uh, creative tab and then I will show you both of these things in game. For the creative tab you will also need an item or any of the vanilla uh, items. So let's go to the creative tab, which would be W, and enter name, book, just because I, I can, you can call it whatever you want, pretty much. And so yeah, book, then the icon, as I said, can be any of the, of the vanilla stuff, 
items or blocks. It can also be your custom stuff, which I'm going to do this custom book looking thing. You can have it have a search bar or not. I prefer not to have any search bars in mine because you can go to the normal uh, vanilla search bar and search anything up. Next, as, as I said, again, another super simple one. Um, yeah, so let's go check those out in game. Actually, no, because those are so simple, let's add in a third thing we'll be doing today. Let's add in fuel. And yeah, so fuel, fuel is very simple. It's a uh, Yeah, it's very, it's uh, very simple, just like a lot of other things. Um, let's leave it at there. Yeah, so you uh, come down and click down here. You can make any of the normal Minecraft stuff a new fuel. You can also make your own custom elements. You can export it to uh, for an image to showing showing that. But yeah, again, another very simple thing. Okay, so next, after the fuel, let's also do recipes, which are right there. They are R for the uh, key lock if you want to use that. So, oops, forgot the name. So click R and then book rest. Hold on. I prefer when I do my all my recipes, I put recipe at the very beginning just so that it cannot, no matter what, get confused with anything else than what I am doing the recipe on. Now there's multiple different types. You can have a book, you can have something like say, let's find the book, that'll be in items. And then you can have that come out as your book. You can add, all, you can also add a, uh, uh, a ch enchantment. Uh, which is very handy and for and that's in the uh, furnace now the one on the top you can have it be a shapeless recipe or not uh, you can do stuff like add not a piston there you, we can add just a bunch of random things pretty much anything you want and you get and you can make it be again again you can have you can export these at, for images now something new uh, for 1.8.1 is that you can choose the amount of experience you get from smelting smelting the item so yeah that is the recipes and you can again do two in one if you want but to make it more uh, more coherent for yourself so it's easier I would suggest splitting those up just uh, to make it a little easier. Okay, I will see you in game to show you what all of these do.
Okay, here we are in game. And now let's check out the stuff we did. Did So we've got our uh, creative tab inventory. Now, on all of the uh, like blocks and, and elements that you have to choose your creative tab inventory, uh, you can choose your custom inventory. I forgot to do this for that book, but nonetheless, it can be done. If not, items will turn up in the miscellaneous and blocks in building blocks or decorations, one or the other. And I believe plants will turn up in decorations. Anyway, we have our book. We saw that the creative inventory tab works. And we have not gotten our achievement. That's because we have to right click in the air. Uh, because that is the procedure uh, uh, element that we made it uh, come up. Come, uh, uh, come on, where's the words? Where's the words? I can't find them. Uh, that's that's how uh, the the uh, what activates uh, the procedure. Now, if we had uh, put it at, on the when item is in inventory, the moment it went into our inventory, it would have uh, popped up. Anyway, yeah. So we also had our recipes. So let's get our crafting table. And let's get two sticky pistons, two pistons, a book. Now let's get a, another book, because we also need a furnace. If you're wondering, yes, I am using a texture pack. Uh, and we will need some coal. Okay. So we have our furnace, and we have our crafting table. Let's try the crafting table first. So here we have, oh, not that. We have our crafting recipe. Very good, very good. And we have our smelting recipe. Now this smelting recipe is not accurate at all. I just did it for the sake of the video. And you can, as you can see, we have our item. So let's get a few more books to test and see if this, uh, if our book actually smelts things because if you remember we added the fuel for that and as you can see yes it does creating more books with books yes the stuff we want to do <laughs> anyway yeah so that is that is uh, that is creative tabs, fuels, um, achievements, and recipes. I hope you that you found this video helpful. If you did, please leave a like, and if you are new, please subscribe. Consider subscribing anyway, and click the notification bell to get notified of when the next few episodes of this